Hey folks, Lion King from Ontario Doors here. Man, have we got challenging conditions today. We've got about a 20k wind pounding down on us and our expectations today was to go catching some bluegills. When most people think of bluegills, they often think of that little fish that clusters around docks and ultralight tackle is a great way to catch them. But people who chase bluegills regularly have a very different perspective of what bluegills do, where they live, and where to find the big ones. My hopes today is we're going to find them out on the flats. You can see here we've got a weighted slip float and with that we've just got a small lead of line to a small jig. That small jig could be almost anything but the key is that it, you can put some really subtle stuff on a rig like this. You can use all the same stuff you'd use for ice fishing for panfish. You can use it during open water even under adverse conditions like this. In addition to the slip float though big part of the story here is the rod that we're using. This is not your typical average ultralight setup. This is actually a nine foot, it's got a moderate power to it. It's a steelhead rod. This system, long range, definitely a refined outfit for popping fish and hopefully some big fish off the flats. But let me show you exactly how this thing works. Okay, so let's see what we can do with this setup. Man, that is a nasty, nasty wind. And I'm not giving up. There we go. Got the little tiny jig out there underneath that float. And the ability to be able to cast a long way with this rig really allows you, from even an anchored position, to cover a lot of water. So you're able to anchor down Boom, 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 boom. Systematically work an area. And then just lift the anchor, drift to another spot, boom, do it all again. Because what's true about bluegills is they tend to school together. So once you get onto a pot of them, especially big ones, you're going to want to hold tight. You're not going to be wandering, wanting to wander all over the place. You want to sit down on them, maximize your return. Got like four feet here. Oh, there we go. That's a nice one. Oh, yeah. People think uh, with ultralight tackle is the way to maximize your fun with fish like this. This setup is just beautiful for catching bluegills. Look at that, especially when you're getting them like that. That's a nice chunker. If you're looking to keep a couple for the pan, that one, that one there, that would do the job for sure. Sweet. I'm going to let this guy go. Even though we're just fishing bluegills today, the same presentation will work for a lot of different panfish. It's not all uncommon. Fishing these flats, occasionally you'll come across schools of perch definitely and occasionally you'll even get into a big school of crappies. In this presentation, it'll stack up the crappies just as quickly and easily as it will stacking up any of the other panfishes. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's actually tough sometimes to see when he's on. Oh, that is a nice pulling fish. Bluegills, you gotta love them. Oh, that's a better size one. Look at that. Look at that jumbo. Look at that orange breast. Beautiful bluegill. Hey, if you like fishing bluegills half as much as I do, then you're probably going to want to add this type of a setup to your arsenal of rods. It gives you long range capability, super sensitive presentation. That's beautiful. That's about as beautiful as fish come.